Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with Charles Amir Parrott Hello. from Super Meeple, looking at its next release, Genesia. Yes. Uh, is it three to five players? It's one to five players. One to five. Uh, there's Ooh, a solo yes. mode. And, uh, you can play it from, from one to five players. It's about 20, 20 minutes per player. Okay. 20, 25 minutes per player. And you have a, so. you have a three player setup here. Yes. You yes. adjust so, the. Yeah, so depending on the number of players, you have you just choose here. This is the Genesia place. So is, this is for three players, this is for four, and this is for two, or this is for five players. And then the solo mode is uh, played a little bit different. And then each player has a homeland like this. Mm -hmm. So depend. And then each player has some clans, what we call clans and cities. This. And the, the goal of the game, of course, is going to be to, to expand, so to have more clans and to control more different lands. So you can control, of course, at your place, you can control in here in the center, or you can also go on, 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 on the other players' uh, um, on the other players' land. So, and at the end, you just count the number of points, and the most victory points you 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 you, you can win the you win you win the game. So, in order to do this, and the, the core mechanic of the game is a card drafting mechanic. So, the game you have three rounds from one age to one three. It goes from prehistory for the first age, middle ages for age two, and modern times for age three. Okay. So it's a it's, it's a, a lot a, of time covered very yeah, shortly. Like, yeah, in a short in a short period. Yeah, in a short yeah, because uh, it's only three three rounds and what is so it's a, the game is a territory conquest. You can see with a sieve also. It's a, it's a, it's a sieve game in the, in in, uh, in the sense that you you play. You, you just have three different ages, mm -hmm. and also so here we, we have three, uh, 30 different cards. So at the beginning, so we, we, you start with the age one with the prehistory. So you, here you have for each card, you have here the artwork, the name, and also you, it brings also some information. So it gives you a little bit more immersive, and here the action. Okay. So the card draft at the beginning, you, you, you just pick up six cards for every player and just each player just choose one and then there's a drafting like this until every player gets five cards and then after once everybody has the five cards you start doing the different action In, there are about three different phases each time so mm -hmm. one is the first you're going to bring more clans so depending here on the icons that you have here some cards you can play during the expansion some cards you can do so here you have for example this is more about the first this is more about the first, the first, um, the, the the first phase where you will just bring some more clans. This is more about the expansion, how you will be able to to spread on, uh, on the other. And you also have at the end the third phase is the attack phase. Okay. So the attack phase, you can. W it's it's a game where you can attack or not. You can win without attacking, but sometimes it's good, of course, to do some 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 attacks. So and the the attacks, there's no dice at all. It's just a simple depending here on the uh, on, on the on the number of clans. That you have compared to the to the other to the other players, mm -hmm. and then and then you just move uh, just you just remove one for one, and then uh, yeah, and, and then you have the cities that will help you to to block. So um, so yes, so once everybody has played the you, you play the different phases, expand like this. When it's finished the first round, then you go with the second round. So you move to the middle ages. So that means middle ages, more inventions, right. more power. So it, so it, so it will be a bit more uh, uh, a bit more uh, tense and more and more possibilities to attack. And then when it's done, then you will have the third age. So the, that that's modern time. So of course it's a lot more powerful. And what is interesting in the game is when you see when you start. The first age, well, first age, you you, you can't move very fast. You, it's 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 pretty qu it's a pretty quick age that you play, and That's at right. the end you start only with a homeland yeah, at the exactly, back, and exactly. there's no cities. Exactly, and, and then you and then uh, uh, prehistory, so you don't have things. You you can you can not travel very far like this. But of course, in modern times, then you have drones, you have planes, you have whatever different things like this. So you you can also do. Just uh, more powerful attacks, more it's easier to 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 control uh, different places. So at, of course the age three is a bigger uh, is is a bigger age. Yeah. So so yeah. One, one, once the age three is finished, then we count the points. So the points is depending on how many lands do you control, where. So you gain more points when you control uh, a uh, uh, lands from the other players' lands. Mm -hmm. Of course, here in the center, the value of the of the of the of the different areas is higher than the others. So but yeah, so everyone wants that exactly. So so, yes. so everybody is just going this, and everybody also at the beginning of the game you have a secret objective that just brings you more points and gives you kind of a strategy for the whole game. Just okay. okay. So yeah, so that, that, that's um, that's it. So yeah, we have 90, 
And then there's a 30, 30 cards per, the, for, per age. And of course, one of the key points is you, you can, for, for, for playing some, some, some of the cards, you need to, to pay. And you have a, a certain number of, yeah, here, so this is the cost. So of course, uh, uh, you have to pay and you have a limited number of coins. So when you choose the, the cards, when you do the draft, you have to also to take this in mind, to, to keep this in mind and to, um, to, to, to play it this way, yeah. Okay, so, yeah. and 15 turns. That's it for the whole so, thing. Um, five, five each turn because you're gonna play a card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Each time. But, but sometimes, uh, w w if you have multiple, if you have the, uh, multiple cards of the same face, you can play two cards for, for saying, okay, these two cards are the first face. So okay. You, uh, and then each, the other player will play all these cards of the first face and like this. And, okay. And then we move to this to the second expansion face. So right. everybody plays is all all these uh, cards. So even of faster, expansion. actually, in yeah. a sense. Yeah, yeah. It's how a, you're partnering yeah. things together. Yeah. yeah. But, okay. And then after, yeah, it's really about, of course, it's like all this kind of game where you can have direct interaction, so you can talk with the others. Okay, if you, so it, there's a, there's a, there's, it's very tense. It's, it's very tense. Yeah. So, so we, it's been two years that we're working on this game. It's been, uh, it's, it's been a lot of work for balancing every way. It has been tested a hundred times. Is I don't know how many spheres. So we're very satisfied of, of the of the final product. All right. So and, that's, uh, and when will it debut? When, when, sorry? When will it debut? When will it hit the market? Uh, so, uh, well, in France, it will be in March. Mm -hmm. And uh, Luma will bring it, uh, the, the Origins will be, it will be releasing for Origins. Okay. Yeah, so that's, right. that's, that's the target. And it will be also released in other countries during the first uh, uh, semester. Yeah. All right, thank you very much uh, for a quick overview of Genesia from Super Meeple. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you.